Vroom, 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 vroom. Hey yo guys, how are you? Hope that you guys are super fucking epic today. It's your brother, Paul, aka the handsome sex cop, um, aka Peter Pan. So, <coughs> with today's video, we're gonna talk about how um, I have this very well concreted theory that is fortified in empirical data that basically means i'm speaking through my own experience and what this whole theory is is when you're a better guy like just like a decent genuine real person like not trying to use people for stuff and pulling strings and shit but actually like giving from your heart to people and actually caring about people's feelings and their their lives not their thoughts necessarily but their feelings so my theory is that being that this <laughs> genuine person attracts girls okay it attracts girls better than being the uh, a person who uses people for their own purposes to be the a good guy anyone inside of you to be the a good guy okay than a bad guy okay it's way better yeah yeah as you guys know well you probably won't know because i'm actually just mentioning it now but what was i gonna mention <laughs> with the whole being your god self and stuff i mean you know what guys i'm used to i'm used to like holding the phone i'm used to like doing this and just moving around and just fucking walking around like this so maybe i should do this yeah this works pretty i'm just getting used to it guys i'm just getting more used to it so as you can see we are here in my backyard here in south africa i actually just came back from a prayer thing with my parents we had like a sunday thing sunday service um my dad's like a reverend my mom's a prayer leader lady Okay, so my theory is that, and through experience, is that by becoming a better person, you're going to attract better things into your life, okay? So, like, if you're a better dude, you're going to get better girls, better attraction, okay? And also, like, better money as well, okay? Versus, like, being a self-serving having a self-serving type of vibe and then just like hiding it in kindness and shit like that you know because that i i think that takes a lot of energy and it's not something that one can just lay on their pillow on their head their head on their head at night <laughs> they can just lay their head on their pillow at night and just like sleep soundly too or zenfully because that weighs on their conscious you get what I'm saying? on their consciousness whatever the fuck okay i'm just using english as a vehicle i'm not an english person I just use English as a vehicle. I don't have a language that I belong to. I just use languages as a vehicle to communicate my awesomeness. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm still getting used to this laptop, guys. I'm still getting used to it. Remember, right? What does it mean to be your God self, right? It's what I'm doing now. I'm jumping out of my comfort zone. Jump out of your comfort zone, okay? Um, obviously, be calibrated about it and smart about it, okay? Um, socially. And uh, I'm taking imperfect action. That's another thing that we do as our God self. To be your true God self. If you're being a true God self, we take imperfect action. This is an example of imperfect action. Okay. Um, I didn't wait till I'm a pro. I didn't wait. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Before I record a video, before I get started on my video journey, I should probably just sit here at this nice wooden uh, mahogany coffee table out here in Africa and just sip some green tea which is good by the way sipping green tea and just wait until i'm a professional at recording with a laptop i should just wait until i'm good enough with it before i start i should just wait until i got all my fucking ducks in a row before i start fucking boof, delivering the payload by the way since we're talking about guns another thing we also do guys as our god selves we gym okay um, to all my gods, my fellow gods and my uh, goddesses, we gym, okay? If you're a dude, you fucking work on them fucking shoulders and you work on them legs, okay? And the jawline. If you're a chick, you squat, okay? You squat. That doesn't mean you do squat. That means you... And no, that's not giving head. But giving. if you're good at giving head, that's a plus for you as a chick. But you do, like, squats. You know what I'm talking about? All right. So, <laughs> oh man, 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 man. Okay, so, <sighs> becoming a better person, okay? 
becoming a better person. Now, how did I experience this? What is the story that I can give to you guys to show you what I mean by this? Here is to my fellow gods and goddesses. I love this. I, can't, I came up with this like last night. I was like just laying in bed. <laughs> I was laying in bed and like, what should, we, what should I call our family? What should I call us? Like our tribe? What should I call us? Our group? Hmm. And I came up with gods and goddesses since handsome sex god. Like all gods and goddesses and my whole spiritual blah, 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 blah. Anyway, okay. All excited and shit about that. Get present to the moment. Another thing we do, <coughs> we feel, we get present to the moment. We feel the energy body, as Eckhart Tolle says. Now let's get spiritual in this bitch together. Feel the energy body. So, <laughs> um, one thing I'll ask you guys. I just I have a confession to make, um, and I trust that you guys will forgive me, because today, I, my clothes are not. Uh, matching my pants is not matching the rest of my clothes my clothes are matching basically uh 90 percent it's just 10 percent, which is my pants as you can see i'm a professional at math um <laughs> so it's just my pants is not matching that um i'm not wearing super matching clothing which means like you know as our god selves we go out and we wear we wear matching clothing we wear stuff that matches okay um and fits us nicely but when I go out, I do this. I do do that. Just letting you guys know, being honest with you. Remember, being your God self, we're honest about shit. It's high status, higher status to be honest. <laughs> I don't know why I'm smoking. <laughs> An example for you guys is basically like, when I really started to <laughs> love yourself, by the way, self-love, self-love, love yourself. Like, don't expect yourself to be perfect. Just accept yourself as you are. Love yourself as you are right now and enjoy yourself as you get better at what you're doing, okay? I may have not been perfect in enunciating my vocalized sounds, but it's okay because I will get better, okay? I'm not expecting myself to be here and then only when I'm here am I good enough. Oh, only when I'm here am I good enough. Oh, guys, you know what, guys? I didn't... <sighs> I didn't say the words properly. Uh, uh, I wasn't the best the first time I tried. Uh, or the seventh time I tried. Uh, okay, no. Okay. <laughs> no. Love yourself. And love others. So. <clears throat> I remember when I just like, when I like just got good with game. Oh, sorry, not good. When I got like really great with game. When I, the first time I got really great with game. For me, it wasn't like, um, I never had this. Uh, I have a, I had a weird <laughs> I had a weird developmental uh, journey with game and pickup and stuff like that and seduction and stuff like that. I didn't go like from low to to medium to like getting better to like great and stuff like that. I went from like l low to fluctuating between uh, medium and good and great, just fluctuating between there. I, like for a while, like in my life, I just fluctuated between low medium great medium great low like i just i don't know it was just like that okay but when i when i came to like when my standard like my default game level it went from like low to high high medium uh, this uh, i'm talking about attraction game not like um active game which is like you know saying the right stuff and then pulling it back it's just like being an attractive dude that girls just really like um personality wise and what what so for me i went there quickly i had a bit of a jump <laughs> jump <clears throat> so i remember when i just got great with game when i had that jump it was uh i had this thing where i remember i won't mention any names oh wait should i mention names okay you know what I'm just, I went over to my buddy's house, right? And it was my broski, and then another friend was there, and then there was a chick there as well. So when I entered the room, I walked there, seeing the, the floors, tiled floors and what, and I went to sit down. I greeted the bros, I didn't greet the chick, and <laughs> obviously, you know, posture, high status, just greeting the dudes. I just figured it's like, 
Um, I'm gonna try not to be attractive. I'm gonna try not to be attractive around this chick because I just figured, I thought to myself like, hmm, this must be my one bro's, my one friend's girl. It must be his girlfriend or some shit like that. So I'm just gonna try not to be attractive around her. I'm just gonna be like, lower the attractiveness, you know? Attractiveness. <laughs> so, what happened is the one, my one broski left, the one friend he left, whose girlfriend I thought it was. He went out of the room, so I'm like, okay, cool, it was just me. Then my other bros, whose house we were at, he left as well to go and say goodbye to him. So as they went down to the gate, they had like a long talk and whatnot. So while they were there, I was sitting behind the table with the laptop and whatnot, and then there's the chick, and then <laughs> I'm just following my instincts, right? So I'm just like, yo, I was like, yo, um, sorry, my bad, I didn't greet you when I greeted everyone else. I was a bit of an asshole or some shit like that. But now I'm using the attractive game that that I had at that time. The attraction game that I knew at that time. I wasn't as uh, congruent with what I'm super comfortable with. With who I really am. <laughs> I'm laughing because I can see in the background. I think my mother was making up pulling the, the curtain <laughs> for my grandmother. Um, anyway. I wasn't so in tune and in alignment with who I really am, with who I am at home. You get what I'm saying? And who I love being, which is me, this vibe that I'm presenting to you now. It was more of a, a, a cool kind of... Yeah, I don't know if, that, if that's <laughs> interpreted, translated accurately for you guys. But I was there doing my facial expressions, the thing, that's what I, that's what I did there. <laughs> Lots of different kinds of... Um, really attention drawing sexually uh, inviting facial expressions <laughs> or just high status things so anyway I was using my game um, but I wasn't really trying to attract her. I was just practicing my game so this chick's there and then we start talking and she's immediately attracted just by the way that I didn't give her all my attention as I'm talking Busy. I was busy with the curtain actually as I was talking <laughs> so funny I just found whatever's nearby just start getting busy with it yeah you know like um, I'm actually from um, da, 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 like a cute cute girl right over there talking with you yeah you know like but I'm just from um, what do that mm, and then blah 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 and then my foot da, 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 da. so anyway so she was fucking mesmerized and shit so but that's not how I really you see that that's not really how I behave that's not my real personality that's more like me doing something in order to get the attraction but in a way that i wasn't super comfortable with you get what i'm saying um which is the <laughs> thing i just showed you guys now so anyway she's mesmerized and i asked her like yo oh i thought you were my buddy's girlfriend i thought you were that one of my buddy's girlfriends Oh, or girlfriend <laughs> and just like oh no no i'm actually your friend's uh nephew or some shit or cousin or some shit like that and i was like which is the friend whose house i was at i'm like oh that's interesting yeah wow i didn't know that and we started talking and blah blah we had like uh had an argument about 50 shades of gray and i was like oh that's a sh fucking piece of shit book and she's like, oh no, it's a great book. And then she's so turned on and stuff. And like, oh no, 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 it's a great book. And, no, no, no. and kinky and stuff like that. And sex and talking about sex and stuff. Um, but it's all it's all good vibes. It's all like good, not good. It's good dish. Good dish vibes. Um, I'll get better with this recording with the laptop thing. Can you hear the, the bell tower? <laughs> so, um... <laughs> it turns me on so much when I see a chick like, now watch certain kinds of porn, and I see the chick like take the dick, and she like, boop, boop, out of her mouth like that. Like, I don't know, it's like, boop, you get what I'm saying? It's fucking, it's hard as fuck. I don't know why, well, my, some of my saliva just went into the screen. It's hard as fuck. So, <laughs> so now <clears throat> she's attracted and whatnot, and 
I tell her about my um, how I like Japanese chicks and whatnot, and she's like, "Oh wow, no, I'm I'm actually like half Japanese and what what what." And like, oh wow wow wow, and then um, it's like like I could in my mind like I could see like okay, she's just trying to she's trying to like find as many commonalities as she can to like get with me. Um, I think even when I said I was keeping my virginity, she was like, "Oh, me too. Like, pff, I'm a virgin too. Oh, yeah, 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 me too." And um, um, yeah, she was just like proving to me that she's Japanese. No, like, you don't really like. No, I'm Japanese. Like, my from my mom's side, my uncle's side, and oh, blah blah. Fifty Shades of Grey. It's actually a good thing. You should actually love it. And blah blah blah. Um, obviously now, with how I'm more open-minded and more, I understand female sexuality better and male sexuality better. And the world a bit better i now understand that like rough sex is actually beautiful rough sex is beautiful consensual what, what i don't even have to mention consensual rough sex is great it's beautiful the girl loves it and you love it it's fucking great dude but anyway um so anyways so yeah, and then I spoke to her about my girlfriend at the time, that, that I had at the time, not together with her anymore. Um, so, anyway, I got, I got attraction from her, and um, from the, I just noticed the differences, right? The differences between, okay, yeah, and through this, this way of like, these different things that I did <laughs> hmm, yeah 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 you know and it can be used it can be used like all these other different techniques and stuff that was something I kind of learned by my I kind of figured it out I learned different things and then I figured that one out taking credit right there <laughs> <laughs> so all of these things you know like deeper voice and whatnot they can be used but I found that when I just became a more win-win happier minded person it was easier for me to attract girls and the relationship between them i didn't have to keep up a mask i didn't have to hold up a mask um for example one thing where i found um was when uh when i went on the total opposite spectrum of like the masculine thing when i went like on the total opposite spectrum of like the game thing and stuff like that um I was just like invited to a party and I was performing there. So I was walking in with the buddies, walking in with the guys, uh, guys <laughs> I had actually just met and they're like, yo, yeah, come to this party. And then there's loads of chicks and stuff and bros. And so they, they're drinking alcohol and stuff. It was at this frat house thingy over there. And um, not, a, yeah, not a frat house, it's like a residential thing for students. And now, <laughs> I'm just meeting people and I at this point I just listened to the audiobook of I think it's six or seven six pillars of self-esteem by Nathaniel Brandon that was a really good book and I was just loving myself and I was just loving myself and I was like yo I don't need to put up this high status thing you see don't put up the high status use the high status as a tool for your health and for your social health you get what I'm saying use it as an understanding but don't use it as something to make you good enough you are inherently good enough this is the mindset right you are inherently good enough worthy of love and so is everyone else don't see yourself as above anyone or below anyone we are all equal regardless of what we know or what we do you get what i'm saying equal in the sense of not in economical value <laughs> but equal in the sense of inherent value for the fact that we exist you get what i'm saying it's like a cat and a dog it's a cat and a dog we love them even though they're not fucking celebrities you get what i'm saying in the same way human beings we love them even though they're not celebrities you get what i'm saying i'm just trying to paint this picture with an example for you guys so i went there and this one chick she was like um i won't mention any names but there were a lot of girls around me and stuff that asked me about myself because I was like the only colored guy there. I think there was one other guy with a complexion similar to mine there. Everyone else was just white. And then there was one Indian dude. <laughs> Shout out to him. Um, 
So I was there surrounded by these blonde chicks and they're sipping like red wine out of their glass and like, yo, don't you want wine? And I was like, oh no, what did I say? <laughs> I was like, I don't drink vodka. Oh no, I said I only drink on special, <laughs> I only drink on special occasions. I don't drink vodka, but I, but I love green tea. Like, oh, he, he doesn't drink vodka, but he loves green tea. <laughs> um, so anyway, these chicks are around me in like a, a cre half crescent moon sipping their red wine and stuff, asking me questions about myself, some of them getting tipsy and shit. Oh, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, the touchy vibe is there. Um, and that, you know that type of vibe where they, what's his naming? Um, fuck me eyes, basically. Um, so, or interested eyes. I mean, not say fuck me eyes. I think, and there's nothing wrong with fuck me eyes, by the way. I get them. I've gotten them a lot. Okay, it's fine. And girls give them. It's good. I love it. Okay. But anyway, so this one chick that I met, she kept on telling me she was besides. She was not in the same group as these other girls who were sipping and stuff. She was there and she was pretty sober. She was like, yo, you should totally come back. Like, after this, like, you should visit us more often. You should really visit us more often. Um, and I was like, yeah, that's really cool. But then I was curious. I was like, yo, I'm not using game. I'm not trying to be attractive at all. Um, obviously, I'm just good body language, attractive qualities. But I was just presenting my self-loving self. And this girl wanted to see me more often. Um, and then other girls as well wanted to see me more often. And it was easier for me to make friends because I had like a fucking entourage of bros that I just met that night. And I was vibing with them like as if we'd known each other for a bit, okay? A bit, okay? One dude, actually, I was vibing with him as if we like known each other for like five years or, or 10 years or some shit. And we just saw each other for the first time, like in a while. I'm like, oh, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Whereas a po on the opposite side of the spectrum where I had the other thing which was like just using the techniques and stuff versus being like just a genuine loving person who doesn't want to take from people. He just wants to give to people for free from his heart. Okay. Add value. Another God self thing. Add huge fucking value for free. Okay. Because we know. Why, why, why do we do that? Because we know that um, value comes back to you. Like, besides the whole scientific, ph physio physiological, tangible thing, we know that metaphysically as well. I don't know if you believe in metaphysics, <laughs> whatever that means. But metaphysically, we know that the universe will give back to you um, what you give to it in some form or the other, okay? And we can elaborate more on that. You can ask me about that if you want me to elaborate more on it. I'll be happy to. In another, in a, in another video, okay? So I was like, wow, I made all these friends, you know, um, in the past when I would have that other thing that I wasn't so comfortable with the, my gaming style, it wouldn't be so easy for me to make guy friends. In fact, when I was, but it would be very easy for me to attract chicks, but in a way that I had to like lift up this attraction thing, but it wouldn't be so easy to make dude friends because, um, half of them would be like would love me half of them would love me but out of respect and it's more like a role model type it's not role model it's like more like a dude that guy is so cool that guy is so awesome and then the other ones would be like he's full of himself he's full of himself he's arrogant he's arrogant obviously i believe that that game style thing or acting that i put up there was more of someone who believes in himself and shit like that um and obviously lovingly arrogant but um, it wasn't the congruent true me, even though it was awesome. But anyway, so to sum this all up, right? When you become more of just a decent person inside of yourself with good intentions for people, not trying to get stuff for yourself. You see a girl, you're not trying to get her for yourself. You're not trying to get her for yourself. You're willing to see what she's about and you're willing to give good vibes. You have something to give. You're not there like, oh, she's got a pussy. Take, take, take. Hey, can I buy you a drink? Pussy. Okay, sorry, I'm just making fun, uh, making fun of that shit. But um, it's <laughs> it's okay. You can buy people drinks. That's cool. I know that there were some girls who bought drinks for me, and that was a nice gesture. She offered me to buy me drinks. That was a nice gesture. 
But what I'm the point that I'm making is this. Okay. When you meet someone, have something to give. Give love. Can you feel that I'm giving love to the camera? I'm making love with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving love to the camera. I'm giving good vibes. I have something inside of me that I'm sharing with you. It may not be physical and necessarily touchable with the five senses, maybe hearing and sight. <laughs> but it's something that you feel and you resonate with it. There is some kind of value in it. So when you meet someone, you have something to give. How do I get this, right? It comes through, it's expression, right? But it's expression of intentions. So I have my intentions wherever they are. I don't know where they are, where they live, <laughs> but they exist, right? And how I feel about people and how I feel about the world. And I'm taking the veil away, the curtain. I'm sliding the curtain, letting the sunlight shine through, right? Of how I feel about people, how I feel about you, my per my intentions about you. Um, let me give you a, a ta tacit, tacit example. I think that's a word I learned from Charisma King Denton. Shout out to you, bro. A tacit example. When I go to the grocery store, so dominantly pointing. When I go to the grocery store and I greet people there and the girls are like looking at me and stuff. I... I'm not trying to get the attention of the girls. I am making friends with dudes genuinely with no ulterior motives. I know I'm aware. I'm well fucking aware. I, I have a decent understanding of the game. I'm still always getting better, but still, I'm well aware that by making friends with this dude, it's going to benefit me in so many different ways. So I'm winning so much. And that really makes me feel really good. <laughs> but at the same time, I love putting a smile on someone's face. I enjoy when I greet that guy and I'm like, yo, dude, how are you? I like, what's up? And we fucking just vibing. And he's like, yo, dude, this, this. I'm like, yo, bro, this, 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 that, this, this, that, blah, blah. Yep, 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 yep. The words are not necessarily relevant. It's the heart behind what you're doing. I'm, <laughs> this is going to sound so straight, so straight. I'm injecting him with love. I'm injecting him with good vibes. <laughs> injecting him with love. <laughs> I'm inserting good vibes into that interaction. Um, because why? I don't want anything from him. I'm not trying to impress. Do I look like I'm trying to impress you? Do I really look like that? No, of course not. But at the same time, I don't have a wall up. I don't have a wall. You get what I'm saying? I'm not like... I don't give a fuck. I, I just don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what you think. I don't give a fuck what you think. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not like a hard ass, if you want to call it that, about it. Um, I don't, I'm not trying to impress you, but I am being loving. You get what I'm saying? I don't care so much about what people on the other side think, but I am being loving. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm still a good vibe, being, having good vibes. I'm still being a good person. In my own standards. <laughs> and I'm entertaining myself. I'm laughing all over the fucking place. <laughs> so, um, our beard is growing, bro. My beard is fucking growing. My beard is fucking growing. Jawline! <laughs> so, um, just being a good person. Like, obviously, now my game has become more calibrated. I've calibrated it way better than what it was before. So, like, the softness, the soft side with the... Oh, yo, 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 dude, by the way, my voice back in the time when I performed there and, like, there were all these girls around me and dudes around me. Um, and I've got, like... I've got a great social circle game. I, I gotta pat myself on the shoulders and on the back. Oh, a great social circle game. I'm sorry, bro. I got fucking amazing i got a phenomenal social circle game <laughs> um i just love people are so much fun dude i love people <laughs> so when i went there my voice i didn't even use like the deep voice okay sometimes i just got the deep voice in my pocket here and i can just pull, pull it out pull, the deep voice cannon deep voice yeah you know um 
Yeah, I was just like with my friends and blah blah and yeah and sort of yeah 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 and blah 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 and blah blah and the envelope and I mailed the envelope and she mailed it back and she gave me cash cash straight up. <laughs> um, but then I I wasn't even using the deep voice. I even like this voice, my na more natural voice. I used an even like softer voice, like an even softer voice. Like yeah, cool, cool guys, that's really fucking awesome. But not that much. <laughs> um. I think my voice got a little bit deeper now because I've been breathing into my diaphragm. But anyway, but now I've calibrated and even then I got results. I got fucking amazing results, amazing results, okay? Through being the real me. You know, we know about high status ambition, high status destiny. Um, get Jason Capital's book, Higher Status by Jason Capital and Psycho Cybernetics by Dr. Maxwell Maltz. Um, I plan to put them in the description. So put them in, so, check them out and I plan to get like an affiliate link so if you buy it like I get cash money from it cash straight up front <laughs> get money from it um, and I'm gonna see if I can I'm gonna try and monetize this video and start making money yes I love money I'm proud of money okay I've been listening to Reverend Ike okay and uh, Joseph Murphy and Wallace Wattles okay so um, yeah yeah, but now I'm, I'm way more calibrated than before. So I can take the stuff that I used there and then have it with my true personality in a way that I'm loving it. And it's still truly me. Um, but it's another facet of me. You get what I'm saying? Because not, we're not single faceted. We don't all have one side of us. We have multiple sides of us. So this is one side I'm presenting to you. Another genuine side would be when I'm amongst a lot of people and I can... Um, change my voice to where I'm comfortable with it. I can change my body language to where I'm comfortable with it. I can change my the way I stand to where I'm comfortable with it. I don't identify Julian <laughs> Julian Blanc vibes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't identify. I love that laugh, by the way. <laughs> I don't identify with necessarily i don't identify so strongly with my voice okay i don't identify so strongly with like um my body right i do identify with it but not so strongly so i can change my muscle i can get bigger muscle and that's still me you know what i'm saying i can get my face to look nicer it's still me okay um i can get my personality to be more awesome it's still me okay um but me is the presence beyond this that's the true me the presence okay but anyways um just becoming a better person a more genuine person who has the good of others in his heart and he adds value okay he just adds fucking value um to others like me i'm i'm adding value to you through this video for free because i know that not only is this my passion like i fucking love doing this and it's awesome to hear from you guys like how it's helping you my videos help you and stuff and how you guys enjoy my videos that's awesome at the same time i realize that the universe is going to reward me on top of all of that all of my passion and shit like that the universe is going to reward me in some or other form from doing this okay because i'm helping others okay so help others add value whether it's through basketball playing hockey or rugby or Doing something that makes other people happy it puts a smile on their face and it puts a smile in your heart That was so poetic. Good job, Peter Pan. Good job, Peter Pan. Paul. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys. Have an epic fucking day I hope that you learned something very awesome from this video um, Take notes Maybe it's a little bit late to say that but take notes <laughs> Peace out. I love you guys. Have an awesome day